Hey YouTube, it's that time again. I'm going to be doing my unboxing of the latest booster pack that came out. This time it's going to be Cosmo Blazer because it just came out like on Friday. So I went and I got two uh, booster boxes. I'm going to be opening one of them in this video and I'll open another in, in a separate video later on. So let's get started. I'm hoping to build um, the Fire Fist deck. And the heraldics, as well as uh, change out mermails and a couple of the other ones that got new support cards like prophecy. Alright, so we'll go with the right side first. I'm hoping for my secret rare, I actually, okay, compared to last time, last time with Abyss Rising, I didn't actually look, uh, alright, so let's see, first pack, we got a rare, Hazy Flame Basilatrice, and I think I'll just skip through the commons, just to make the video shorter, but yeah, this time, compared to Abyss Rising, last time with Abyss Rising, I didn't actually, uh, research, any of the cards ahead of time, so I didn't, I had no idea like what was worth a lot of money. Apparently, I pulled a Moulin Glacia in my second box in the Abyss uh, Rising video, but this time I'm hoping to pull the the Spellbook of the Master and either the Noble Knight guy. I got a rare. Okay, that was the second pack. So so far, just two rares. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping to pull the look of the master, either Noble Knight, the Noble Knight Secret Rare, or um what is that guy? Uh Dire Wolf, that beast exceed monster. Those are the three, and I think those are the three, well not not Noble Knight, but the Those are the those are like the two big money cards right now. So I'm hoping to pull Spell of the Master out of one of these two boxes. And actually, the cool thing about compared to Abyss Rising. Cosmo Blazer, there's only like two bad, quote unquote bad, secret rares. Um, so there's like out of the eight secret rares, we got a Brushfire Knight. Out of the eight secret rares, uh, six of them are, are good and uh, two of them are relatively useless. Unless you're running like a burn deck or something. Like an old school burn deck. I think like one of the one of the secrets is, is good. Okay, Noble Knight Caliburn. Yeah, I was hoping not to pull this. So first, because I already have the sneak peek one. That's how I have the mat also. So uh, yeah, Noble Knight Caliburn is the first super rare of this box. Hoping for something better, but whatever. That's fine. Now I have two Caliburns. I have the ultra rare and I have this one. All right, I got it all. Looks like I got a hollow behind this. Let's see. Ultra rare Artorigus, Knight of the Normal Arms. Wasn't Artorigus in Galactic Overlord? That's cool. That's something I need. I can use that. I want to complete my Noble Knight deck this time around. I've slowly been accumulating the Noble Knight cards. So for me to build a Noble Knight deck, all I really need is the Secret Rare guy. And that's it. There's a lot of hollows back to back. I think these last three packs were all hollow. Uh, Super rare Brotherhood of the Fistfire Snake. That's cool. I need one of those. All right. Rare something. It's like a. It's the rare of the Fire Fist thing. I wish they would make the packs like the OCG ones. The OCG ones, they're like a thicker uh, foil or whatever that wrapper is. It's a lot better. 
And and they have a little peel thing, so it's easier to take the card. Oh, that's a rare. It's easier to take the cards out of the packs. So so far, Noble Knights stuff it's looking like Noble Knights and Fire Fist. Still no prophecy cards. But I think there's only like three. The thing about prophecy that's really annoying is uh all their cards are so high rarity, like super rare or better, that it's really hard to build that deck. Alright. So so far I've got two two supers and one ultra rare. I got one more ultra rare. One ultimate, hopefully a secret, and a couple more super rares, like two or three. Last pack on this side of the box. Oh, this pack opened up nicely. Well, sort of. Alright, oh! Yeah, that's not the best super rare. I think that's like a dollar super rare. Uh, Valkyrian Knight. I'm getting all the cards that I was hoping not to pull, actually. The Caliburn and the Valkyrian Knight. And this guy's not worth a lot either. He's really easy to you can buy him for like, I think, like three dollars. All right, second one of those. I also want to build a Heraldic Beast deck. The Heraldics, I like their. Heraldic is cool, so hopefully I'll be able to pull enough of the rares that I can build the whole deck. Oh, I got Ultra Rare, I can see it. Oh wait, what's the... Oh, it's Ultimate Rare. So Heraldic Beast Leo and Ultimate Rare ZW Leo Arms. I basically treat those like ultras because you're pretty much gonna get one of those, and it's gonna be it's gonna be one of the cards in the set that's an ultra rare. I'm not a fan of ultimate rares. I prefer the ultra. Okay, super rare. It's kind of a weird box. It's like as soon as you get a hollow, you're gonna pull another one right after it. Super rare mermel abyss tripe. That's good. I need one of those. Almost forgot about the mermels. Going through this box. So, Mermel, Noble Knight, uh, Fire Fist, and Heraldic. And even Hazy Beast, too. I kind of want to build the Hazy, Hazy Flame, whatever it's called. Hazy Flame thing. Lots of Beast and Beast Warrior types in, the, in this set. Oh, there we go. Secret Rare. Noble Knight Madraw, that's great. I'm all set, because I already have two other of these, so now I have three of these. That's the third one. Noble Knight, Joan, and Noble Knight, so lots of Noble Knights in that one. I'm happy about pulling that. Now if I can just pull a Spellbook of the Master in the second box, that'll, that'll just seal the deal. Or a dire wolf too, yeah. All right, so Brotherhood guy. So we're almost done. We need one more, we one more ultra rare at least, and then hopefully there might be another super rare. Some fire fist guys, and there we go. Ultra rare number fifty three, Heart Earth. And another Herald Heraldry Reborn. Or Heraldry Reborn. Oh, well, there's that awesome fusion monster. Can't can't skill drain him. Uh, another one of those guys, now I got two. Just need one more. And the cool thing, the reason why I buy two boxes is because if you're wanting to build like all the different budget decks, like the Heraldry, Heraldry, uh, Hazy, and and then you want to hopefully get some of the like the three prophecy cards, uh, you buy two and you'll most likely get all three of the rares. You'll get like a playset of the rares. 
I guess once once I open the second box, I'll demonstrate that. I'll show like I have three of of uh, this guy and just like getting two boxes. So that's why I always go with two boxes instead of three or one. I don't think one's enough. All right, hazy flame. Okay, and the last that's the last hole. I'm really glad I got a fifth uh, super rare. Brotherhood of Fire Fist Horse Prince. So that's, I'm pretty sure that's the last follow. That's two ultras, one secret, one ultimate, and five super rares. That's, that's about the maximum you can do. Uh, sometimes people get lucky and they pull a second secret. All right, and the last pack. Here we go. And yeah, I wasn't expecting anything in the last one. So just to recap, Secret Rare, uh, Noble Knight Madrot, that's really good. Um, Ultra Rare Noble Knight, King of the Noble Arms or whatever, or Targus. So I'm pretty sure I can build a Noble Knight deck now. And then number 53, Heart Earth and ZW Leo Arms was the ultimate. And then I got five supers. Supers weren't all that great, but this is good. Um, and yeah, that guy's pretty good. So I hope you guys like this video. Uh, stay tuned for the next box, because I'm going to be doing that in a, in a video right after this one. So see you guys. Take care.